We celebrate today our Lord's divine mercy. It's one of the great gifts of St. John Paul II to the Church to focus today, this weekend, on the great gift of our God's mercy. And every year we're given the specific gospel. The other readings change, but we're always given the story of Doubting Thomas. In the ideal world, every one of us would have perfect faith. Unfortunately, we're not perfect, which is why we need to continue to receive God's mercy. And Thomas is a beautiful example for that. Every year we're able to revisit and take, I think, new riches from this beautiful reading. But what we see is Thomas has removed himself from the church. He's removed himself from community. He's gone off on his own. One of the ways in which we receive God's mercy is through the church. When we separate ourselves away from that, we separate ourselves from God's mercy. So when Jesus comes, he shows mercy to his followers. He shows them his wounds. He shows them his side. He shows them what he had to do for them. In that moment, they're having to come face to face with their sinfulness. And so when Jesus comes and says, we're okay, imagine the weight being lifted off of their shoulders. Let's imagine the comfort that would have come into their hearts. We're told at that moment that they start to rejoice. And Jesus says again, peace be with you. Because again, our Lord is very merciful. He's very kind. He's going to continue to say it to us time and time again in our life. 